I made a little follow-up video uh, of the HP 7000 C7000 blade uh, enclosure. Um, I already did a video where I disassembled the back plane. This here is the, the back plane board. I got another one from a entire system that went to scrap. So I took that board out and did some experiments with it. Um, one uh, viewer has uh, commented that it would be interesting to have a cut through the board to see what's inside. So I tried it on this side with my angle grinder. Uh, that was not very successful, so I decided to do a little bit more and a little bit with a, with a little bit more feeling. So let's see if we can get that on camera. What I want to show, I don't know how good the macro capabilities of this camera is. Um, I did two other cuts here in the corners. They are maybe a little bit more interesting. If I can get that. Oops, a little bit difficult. Here you can see the ground layers. And in between the, the little dots you can see, that's actually pairs of uh, copper tracks, the signal tracks. And if we look a little bit closer, well, that, go, that works not too bad. You see the ground layers, the copper tracks. And you also see that some copper tracks are, or better, some pair of tracks, they are closer together and others are, uh, they have more space in between. That means we have here two different impedances. For example, I don't know if Ethernet lines have another impedance than uh, fiber channel lines. That's mainly what we have here. This backplane was designed... Uh, do we have a date on it? I think it was something... yeah, here. 2005 to 2007. I think in two 2007 uh, they made an update of the blade uh, enclosure, which was mainly a, a bigger display on the front. And then a little bit later they made a, a better backplane that could handle a couple of signals more and maybe at a higher speed. Now, I don't have too many, inform too much information of this back plane, but for example, we could try to count how many layers we have here. So, let me see if I can do this with the camera in one hand. It's a little bit small to see. So, we have here the top layer, then the first ground layer, or maybe it's a positive rail, I don't know. And then comes the first signal layer here. That's number three, four, five, six. So, oh. It's uh, really different to see for me. Maybe it's easier for you. Maybe you have already counted them. So, let me find where is my tip. One. Is that one? 
I have to look in my viewfinder from the, of the camera, so it's a little bit difficult. Mm. No, that doesn't work for me. So um, I counted it before and I came to a result of 26 layers. Uh, here in the center there are there is a ground uh, plane, then one signal layer, then a big gap, then the other signal layer and a ground uh, layer again. Let's see if we can see that. You can see a couple of for example here is one <coughs> conductor out here and I have I made a, another cut to the other side. Here I cut right through one of uh, the places where uh, where a connector was. So I, I removed all the connectors here, as you can see in the in the, in the right uh, white fields here. Uh, there, well, these fields have been populated with uh, connectors. They were not soldered. They were just press fit into these true hole uh, connections here. And with the help of a small screwdriver they came off quite easily. They are of course secured by uh, two screws, one on each side. So they won't fall off the board if you hit it a little bit harder than usual. So here you can see the, the true hole connectors. They go through the entire board. You can see the light shining through these holes. The connector is like this you have here in the middle are the signal lines and on the outside are the ground uh, connections. Let me see if we can confirm that. Well it's hard to see where this holes actually going. Yeah, it's difficult to say, but I think I'm right. I have to look next time at the connectors a little bit better. So, let's see if we can find out some news here. So I grinded that down layer by layer, makes a, a very nice shape. So I'm thinking about maybe I can use this board to make a little bit of artwork because if you sand it down like this one it, it really looks like wood. Well because it has a similar structure to wood. So, do we have something interesting here? You can clearly see the ground uh, layers. That's the, the big copper uh, colored layers here. We have here some signal layers, they come straight in, straight in this direction. Can I go a little bit close? Well, the macro of this camera is not too bad. Here you can see the signal layers. What do we have else? 
I think that's some more uh, signal lines here going vertically here are some horizontal lines some vertical lines on the layer above <coughs> the small holes of the, the where the connector was the big hole where the screw of the connector was there are more signal layers here yeah I think that's about what you can see you can also see how they routed some signal layers between the, the true hole connections for example here they had a wider uh, distance here and they got narrower here to pass between the holes here to the other side well because that's uh, necessary because the whole board is filled up with connectors you have connectors on the top in the center and on the bottom well maybe that's the top I don't know no I hold it the right way around so the connections in the center here go to the back uh, side where the IO modules uh, are IO modules like Ethernet uh, switches like fiber channel switches virtual connect and whatever you have as or whatever you need as an IO and then you have the eight ports uh, for the blades for the blade servers on the bottom and eight on the top so you can mount 16 blade servers uh, if they are half size blade server or eight full size blade servers which take the entire height of the enclosure Well, uh, one interesting detail, although all the stickers say it is made in USA and so on, we clearly see that the board itself is a product of Germany. And I guess, it's just a guess, I don't know, but it feels like it's the same factory that does the, the big CPU boards for a Fujitsu because they are all uh, they are also made in Germany and well it's the same quality the same make the same material possible there are not so many manufacturers who can make board lights like that and then another thing I want to show you is how this board sounds have you ever heard a board sounding like this it sounds like a glass plate a massive glass plate um, it doesn't sound like a, a board as we normally use it because it's well it's extremely thick look at this it's about I don't know six seven millimeters thick it's made of very strong glass fiber materials and uh, well not bad so that's certainly some something you don't see every day and at least not in this condition.